everybody. Happy Monday. Gigi, what do you got to say? What do you got to say? Yeah, he said it's time to cut up a damn pineapple. Alright, so what are you going to need? A pineapple and a sharp knife and a bowl to put the pineapple in. So, I used to have, well I probably still have, one of those fancy pineapple cutters. Oh, this is so nice. Mmm, it smells so fresh. I used to have a special pineapple cutter that you like cut the top off and then you put the thing on and you turn and turn and turn. Um, it's here somewhere. I kind of don't always like to use that though because uh, it doesn't always get the bad part of the pineapple that gives everybody problems. I hear a lot of people talking about how they can't eat pineapple because they think they're allergic to it. That may be the case, but I have a feeling what they're complaining about is, I just cut one off. Let me um, see if I could show you one. I call them the witch stingers. They're those little pine pointies that stick out and sometimes you don't always get them all and you don't even realize it. And they sting your tongue like these right here. Let's see, like these right here. You have to cut those out Otherwise, that will sting your tongue and it will make your tongue swell up and feel really bad. And uh, it's not a good situation. So I remember I found this out the hard way when my dad had cut up pineapple one time. And he left a few of those in because he was trying to, you know, get as much pineapple out of it as possible. And I can appreciate that. Because pineapple's expensive. You want to get all the fruit out that you can. And he left some of those on there. And I was like, Daddy, I don't want to eat pineapple anymore. <laughs> it hurts my tongue. And then he was like, oh yeah, it hurt mine too. And that never happened before. And uh, we figured out that that's why. So, yeah, be careful you don't get those witch stingers in there. Otherwise, your pineapple experience is not going to be all that it can be. Also, when you cut up a pineapple, there is a rod of fiber that goes down the middle of the pineapple that is very tough to chew. <laughs> you can eat it, I suppose. It's like It seems like it's pure fiber. That's why when you get a can of like dull pineapple, oh my gosh, is my phone ringing? I think so. I'm going to answer that in a second, but this is the fiber. You, got, you get rid of that. That's why the can one has the hole in the middle. <laughs> they don't want you to eat that fiber because it's not very tasty. But I'm going to get this cut up. Somebody needs to be fed and I'm going to call Mark back. Hey guys. Bet you're wishing you were watching Mom right now because I'm super boring. <laughs> I'm just working on today's spoiler for Big Brother Canada. It's a particularly crazy day on the feeds, which is exciting. Uh, it's actually really hilarious, but... I don't want to spoil it for anybody who doesn't watch the spoilers. But anyway, I am starting to... <laughs> Minnie! I'm starting to look ahead in my mind to when Big Brother Canada's over and I have those few weeks of hiatus before BBUS starts and I'm getting so excited. And I can't even imagine like not having to do this every day. <laughs> it's very exciting, which is funny because we've been doing this for so long. But every time hiatus hits, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm a new person. It's amazing. So I'm starting to look forward to that a lot. It's very exciting. Um, what else? I've been listening to a lot of Lindsay Sterling medleys lately, like her movie medleys. So freaking good. But I haven't really listened to any of her original music yet. Are you guys Lindsay Sterling fans? Let me know what her best songs are. Because um, I really do enjoy her music. So I want. I, I'm curious what her original music's like. Could you be louder? <laughs> All right. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get back to work because I have to teach later. And I would like to get some more choreography done before I go. So we'll see. Oh, my God. I just came from the post office. And they could not fit one more thing inside my box. It was stuffed. I had to stand there for like a few minutes and pull everything out. There were this many magazines. <laughs> 
<laughs> in our P.O. box. Thank you guys for the magazines. It's a, we're going to have a lot of reading to do here. But I've been waiting for this one especially. Veg News. Hello, Taco Night. What? Yeah. I just realized now that I should have done the William voice like, what? When Karen was like, did you get a di did you get a diamond POV? Secret POV? I should have said, what? But I totally blew it. Oh, almost. Sorry. Thanks, director. <laughs> Tell me to say it like, what? Wait, what are you talking Bless about? you. The puppet show. Oh, when Will, when Karen said, William, do you, did you find the secret veto? Yeah. He says, what? And I didn't say it like that. What did you say? What? <laughs> There's a difference. What? <laughs> like, mm, shut up, Karen. All right, so... Wow, there's a lot of stuff on here. Meat-free butchers, plant-based on a budget, cheesy snacks, crispy fishless sticks, and avocado crostini. What? Chocolate cream pie? I give that a what? <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a lot of upcoming vegan videos in the future. Yeah, the best vegan cities, baby. All kinds of stuff in here. Guys, if you don't get this magazine, you're missing out on a lot if you're vegan. And if you're not vegan, no. you probably want to go vegan after you see all the delicious food in here. Dinner time! Yay. Yeah! Tonight. <laughs> it smells really good. We're having homemade Chinese food. We got the beautiful mixed rice here. Mm. It's half tofu. That tofu spot. Half on. sizzling Sichuan uh, garden. Really good. So, yeah. Ooh, and you made this rice. Yes, I did the tofu a little bit different. Guys, I forgot to tell you before when I went to go pick up Sean's medicine, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, Maddie already knows because I told her, but I didn't tell you yet, honey. I was standing there with Sean because I had to bring him because we were on the phone and I didn't have time to stop before I picked him up. I'm standing there with Sean, waiting. The girl comes over. She's like, can I help you? <laughs> and I bumped into the thing that says, keep your ass behind this line. And it's a big, heavy, metal stand with the sun with the sign on it where was this in the right. pharmacy oh yeah, yeah okay you know what i'm talking about right and i accidentally i put my hand down to grab sean's hand so you come with me and knocked the freaking thing over and it was like the christmas oh, story oh, 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 ralphie oh, oh. where the bolts from the tire go up yeah. in the air and it's all in slow motion i was like no! It was loud, wasn't it? It was so loud, they must have heard it at the front of the freaking store. It was one of those. And of course, everyone waiting there looks over in disgust like, You loser. <laughs> you freaking fat ass loser, you knocked that over. It wasn't my ass. It was my hand. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Sorry I missed that one. <laughs> no, you're not. You would have crawled into a hole un underneath the thing and died. Yeah. Ugh, my wife. Disgusting. <laughs> so that was my afternoon. Excellent. Then I had to walk out and everybody was still staring at me. Uh. It's a small store. <sighs> That was my day, so now I'm going to enjoy this. Let's see what you think. You already tried the tofu. What do you think? Delicious. Yeah? All right. I did something right today. Yeah, the tofu is really good. Oh, thank you. Oh. It's dessert time. And this is a beautiful, beautiful dessert. It's a pinny apple. Yes. <laughs> also known as pineapple. I'm trying to think what the French word for pineapple was. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Well, it was a good try. Important. We 
have wrapped for the night. <gasps> we are going to continue to watch Dancing with the Stars. Mm, but you know what the big winner is. Less than 24 hours to La La Land. Oh my god! That's for you. That's your oh, prize. It's beautiful. And we're watching it tomorrow night and I'm so excited. I think I already talked about this earlier, but I'm very excited. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Me too. You know what daddy said today? What? He was barely in the door and he said... Nice. He can't wait for tomorrow? No. What? He said... Did you lose weight? <gasps> oh. That's like... Is that why you're so happy? <laughs> and I didn't even mark it on the calendar when... Oh, when your friends and family start to notice? Yeah. Did you lose weight? I don't know. I didn't weigh myself. Okay. You have been working out... Every day. Every I day. I only missed one day for like a month. And you're eating very, very healthy. As always. Thank you. No, not as always. Well, especially. Lately. Good for you. I'm excited. That's wonderful. Me too, and I can't wait to go hiking. Yes. <gasps> I hope we can go this weekend. I really want to. I would love to. Is the weather going to be good? Possibly. Possibly you? Possibly. You? With us? I'm coming? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guys, thank you so much for coming out. We appreciate you so much. Did you notice that? <laughs> <laughs> but you're awesome anyway. <laughs> and until next time, much love.